Well, hi there, everybody. You're traveling with me, Jack, and my beautiful heavenly wife, Pam. And it's a warm summer evening, a Friday evening to be exact, here in beautiful Franklin, Tennessee. I've just finished up working my little part-time job as I do for the evening in the art gallery in the downtown area, where I had a great time meeting and greeting people from all over the country. Because people from all over the country are not only moving here, but they also vacation here as well. So it's a Friday evening, it's after eight o'clock. And if you're like me and you're widowed or a widower, you know that Friday evenings can be tough. We're heading into the weekend. And I thought, well, I've got something that I want to prepare for dinner tonight, but I think I'll take a stroll through the town and see what's going on. And therein lies just a little bit of the problem. When we're left alone after the loss of, say, our husband, wife, or maybe it was a girlfriend or a boyfriend, Friday nights can be just a little bit lonely. And we've talked about that before. An example being, as I walk around tonight, it's mostly couples and families out enjoying the evening. And if we look over here, you can see there's an outdoor concert that's taking place here on the grounds of the local Catholic church. We'll walk over there and get a little closer look. And we see people have brought their lawn chairs out enjoying the evening. As I scan the crowd, it's mostly couples and families, but there might be a single person or two that's sitting in there. And my advice would be for you to maybe go join them if you see something like that taking place. Because in a group setting like that, you can be alone and be okay. Now there you see walking past me, a lovely couple. And I know if you're like me and you've had loss, when you see couples going by, you feel like you've been cheated, don't you? Well, in a sense, we have been cheated. But unfortunately, there's not much we can do about it. We've just got to make the best of things. We got to keep getting out there. I know it's hard. You don't need me to tell you that. I look across the street over there. That's a place called JJ's Wine Bar. And just like everywhere else, it's filled with couples and families. And here comes a lucky couple here crossing the street as we speak. It's a couple's world. And you know why though? Because all of you out there who may have lost someone, you're sitting at home on a Friday night thinking, I just can't get out there. I just can't do it. And I know it's hard, but we're gonna continue getting out there. It's what we have to do. You just have to, and I know it's hard. And yeah, it can suck sometimes. And I will tell you though, as I'm walking along here, there's this beautiful hotel. Look at this, just beautiful. And there, of course, is another lovely family. More couples. They're out everywhere. And I actually looked inside here and they have a beautiful bar area. I went in and I checked it out, the restaurant and bar area. But guess what? Yeah, it was all couples and groups of couples and yours truly, um, didn't quite have it in me to belly up to the bar all alone because even at the bar, it appeared that everybody had found somebody to mingle with, so to speak. But guess what? We could maybe break through and try that sometime. Now, I'm not advocating that we go to bars for our entertainment and things like that, but it's an option. And if you're not a drinker, you can get a virgin drink, as they say. Now, as we continue walking along here, you can see the sun's getting ready to go down. It is a beautiful evening, and here's the other point I want to make. Well, yeah, we're lonely, and we missed our loved ones so very, very much. Just being out, getting that fresh air, exposing ourselves to society can be a good thing. It really, truly can be. And it's hard, and I know that. Here's that wine bar we were talking about. Looks like a lot of fun, doesn't it? Look at there. That guy's got not but one, two, three, four girls with him. 
No, I actually think it was probably a group of couples. I don't know. I know I'm rambling. But I just wanted to give some of you an idea of sometimes what I do on a Friday evening. Now, I could have chose to stay at home, sit on the couch, eat something and watch TV alone. And I'll probably still end up doing that this evening. But the point being, for this moment, these moments, I'm actually feeling pretty good. I like being out. Here's the local Baskin Robbins. And yeah, if you looked real closely, it was mostly couples as well. But hey, that's okay. You're gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay as we continue to walk this new path that none of us asked for. I didn't ask for Pam to be called up to heaven. You didn't ask for your sweet person to be called up to heaven either. Maybe too it could have been lost through divorce. Maybe it was separation. I don't know. We've said it before, loss is loss. It's tough. That's about it tonight. I don't know if I helped you much other than to say it's okay to feel alone. It's okay to have those moments where you're just feeling down. It's just part of the process. But at the same time, don't give up. It's kind of like, I love that speech that Jim Valvano, the North Carolina State basketball coach gave when he was dying of cancer. He was in his last couple of months. And he gave that speech that I know all of you have heard the big highlight from that speech was, don't give up, don't ever give up. And that's what I want all of us to do. And again, I'm not saying it's easy. And there are times I want to give up. There are times you want to give up, but we can't do it, okay? So if it's a Friday night where you are, it's a Saturday night, a Sunday night, Heck, even if it's just a weeknight, get out there. See what's going on in life. I'm by myself. It's okay. Still wish Pam was here with me, but she's not. You know what I always say? Hey, yeah, be sure and subscribe to our channel. Check out my podcast, The Jack Church Show. And better yet, let's make it a great day and a better tomorrow. Bye now from Franklin, Tennessee.